Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Gerasol Vintage. For this video, we're going to be flipping this beautiful mid-century modern dresser and nightstand that I found on Facebook Marketplace. Um, when I saw this posted on Marketplace, I immediately fell in love with the hardware. Structurally speaking, it's pretty solid and you can see that somebody made an attempt to refinish it. Unfortunately though, it does have some veneer missing and a puppy got to the right corner of the night table. Um, the left side of the dresser is missing a chunk of veneer and you can see that um, whenever they tried to stain it, the color did not take evenly because it's too light of a wood filler. So we're going to be fixing all these issues with some filler and we're going to paint over them. As always, first things first, we're going to go ahead and start off by removing all the drawer pulls. These guys up here look like, um, I guess like the front of a bullet. They're pretty cool, I think, in my opinion. I've made it a habit to reattach my screw right back onto my pull or my hardware because sometimes I misplace them and it's a pain in the butt to find um, a screw that fits that specific hardware. Next, we're going to go ahead and start cleaning our piece. Now for this, I'm just putting some water in a bucket and I'm going to be putting some TSP in my water mix. This is going to help me clean up my piece and it's going to help me reduce the shine. Anyway, make sure that you're wearing your gloves uh, when you're cleaning your piece, especially if you're using TSP. You don't want for your body to absorb any of those chemicals. So as I was cleaning this piece, I noticed that there are some things that are going to need some regluing. For instance, this top drawer here, once I took it out, I realized that there is a drag mark right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the drawer and as you can see, we have two nails that are sticking out and that is what's causing the dragging mark on the bottom there. Using my tight bond 2 glue, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit right between the runner and the frame. And I'm going to clamp it down overnight. The dovetails on the nightstand also needed some glue so we're going to let these guys dry for the night and I'll remove the clamps tomorrow. Next I'm going to go ahead and start um, scuff sanding my entire piece. For this I am using my surf prep sander. Um, I recently attached the vacuum to it so it's a lifesaver now because it doesn't create as much dust and mess inside my studio which is great. And we're basically doing this because even though the uh, TSP usually does remove a little bit of that shininess, it was still pretty shiny and I don't want to have any adhesion problems. So I am going to go ahead and use my medium um, uh, sanding pad and this is going to help me get rid of all that shiny finish.
To fill in some of the scratches and nicks, I am going to be using some Bundo. This is a two-part filler and the gray paste is the filler and it does come with a tube of hardener. It's usually a different color, um, sometimes it's blue, sometimes it's red, depending on the type you're getting. Um, for this, I have the red one and I'm only going to add a tiny little bit of it because I'm only doing small repairs and I don't want to waste a lot of it. I also don't want it to dry too fast on me. As always, whenever you're using chemicals, please make sure that you are wearing your proper protective gear, especially this one. If you don't believe me, go ahead and read the warning label in the back, especially the one that talks about not being able to have children. I don't have children yet, so I want to make sure that I am not getting myself into trouble. Anyway, that was too much information. Um, after this dried, I went ahead and went over with my sander just to make sure that I smoothed out any residue or any bumps. I will be priming this piece. Um, I'm not too worried about bleed through. However, I do want to make sure that I have, again, really good paint adhesion and I want to make sure that I do have a very smooth surface for painting. This is a bullseye, um, excuse me, this is a sensor bullseye primer. This will not help you with bleed through. So if you are wanting to use a uh, primer for bleed through, this is not your guy. Um, if you guys check out any of my other videos, I do have listed the one that would help you with bleed through. Now once we are done uh, priming, I'm going to go ahead and let it dry overnight. Um, I am going to go back with a um, sanding pad and just smooth out the surface because I mean I don't care. I always end up sanding my pieces after I apply my primer. But depending on the type of roller you get, you might get a lot of texture or no texture. I, again, I don't care because I always end up sanding afterwards. So it doesn't matter for me. Um, if you don't want to sand afterwards, then you got to make sure that you get the proper roller. Now for this makeover, we're going to be using Paint by Bear and this is their Dynasty line. I love working with this paint because it's water-based and it's really easy to clean and work with. For the first color, I'm going to be using Canyon Dust and I'm going to be putting this all over the entire piece. For the top drawers of each of the pieces, I'm going to be using White Blush and this is a beautiful combination. But when I tell you guys how long it took me to come up with this combination. I mean, I literally debated for over a day. Here I am using my zebra brush and I like using this brush because it's pretty big. Um, they last a long time, guys. Like. To be honest with you, when I am bringing you products, I'm bringing you products that are going to last me a long time. I don't like to work with products just to, you know, promote them or anything like that. I really don't. I'm, I guess you could call me cheap, call me whatever. I just don't like to spend an unreasonable amount of money on products. So I will tell you that this company does a really good job with um, you know, producing and creating products that are going to last you a long time and that are definitely worth your money. So that's what I'm going to be using for this whole project. I'm using two of their brushes and as always, all the products that I use for this makeover are going to be down in the description box below.
Now for this part of the makeover, I'm going to be using my square brush and as always, I'm going to make sure that it is nice and moist before I start using it. It just helps with the paint. Um, it just glides a lot easier when it's uh, moist. And I wanted to use this specific brush here because as you can see, this top drawer has lines going across and I want to make sure that paint gets into those areas so that it's nice and even. Now remember how I told you guys that I was priming and I wasn't worried about bleed through? Well, I was wrong, okay? And it turns out that this piece, the top drawer, is giving me a little bit of bleed through. So what I'm gonna do to solve that problem is I am gonna be using my um, shellac in clear and I'm gonna be spraying a little bit in the areas where I'm seeing the bleed through. Whenever you're using shellac to um, spot treat, just make sure that you are adding very thin coats. Um, you usually add two or three just to triple check that you're not going to have that bleed through coming through again when you are top coating your pieces. Uh, please do not add too much of it because you're going to end up with a mess. Also, this product is very stinky, so make sure that you are wearing your respirator or that you are in a well-ventilated area. Now, while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and hit up all the areas with my artist brush and make sure that I am basically going all those areas that I missed when I was um, hand brushing. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the whole process. It's really relaxing and I usually play some music or I am listening to my favorite podcast while I'm doing this. So my plan was to clean and shine the hardware but unfortunately when I went to clean it, um, it was really uneven so I ended up using this spray paint by Rust-Oleum and this is in bright gold. And last but not least, I'm going to be using this finishing wax by Verithing. This is in clear and I'm just using two separate rags. One of them is going to help me apply my wax and the other one is going to help me just remove any residue. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this is your first time here, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified of my latest content. I hope you guys enjoyed this renovation. Don't forget to show my channel some love and I'll see you guys next week for another furniture flip. Bye bye!